Oh. Hold on. Ten times better. All right, guys, this is Dan French, and uh, this is another uh, video tour we're going to do today. We're out here in Summerlin. Beautiful day out here. It's a Thursday. We're not far from Red Rock, Summerlin. You guys know where it's at. It's west, way west off the 215 freeway. Today we're going to look at a property that I've been wanting to look at, 424 Cascade Heights. Okay, and we're going to look at this starting price point is uh, 1,190,000 and four bedroom, four bath, 3,076 square feet, 386, $387 a square foot. Priced out very well. This is owned by a owner and they're very motivated to sell. So let's go ahead and take a look at the house. Um, you can see I like the stone, the stone cladding, the stacking in the front with the, the stones. It's a two car garage. Pavers come with the house. You can see that. Very nice home. Let's go ahead and take a look uh, in the front here. So this is uh, Kings Canyon and this is the community. You can see that a lot of people are already in here moving. They've moved in. Uh, this is not a brand, it's a brand new home. Nobody's lived in it, but it's been around for a bit of time here. You got a nice patio here, but you got a front patio. There's no cover. So that's gonna be maybe something I would add to it if I'm gonna put some chairs or some things out here. So the, the front door is in the back. Again, this home, it's not gonna be furnished. You're not gonna see anything where it's staged like the, it would be like a model home. Coming in here, this looks like about an eight foot door. It does come with the ring camera. And this is the entrance here. So you guys can see it's all vinyl wood flooring that the builder has put in here. I'm gonna say it's about, man, this is about five feet by, you know, six, six inches. So this is the long, it's long gated. So we're going up here to the right and I wanted to show you really quick. There is a, a bathroom, this is the guest bathroom here. You can see the standard chrome delta under out of sink and in the cabinets. So this would be the guest bathroom coming in here, vinyl wood flooring throughout. This will be a linen's closet. You can see that there. And coming over here, it's almost like a next gen room. You know, if you have somebody that is older or maybe you have somebody in college, this is isolated, it's off to the front of the house. And what's cool about it is it has its own porch countertop and bathroom with the uh, Delta Chrome hardware faucet handle. And then again, you have over here the shower enclosure, tile they put in here, 24 by 24. We talked about having the tile and having a fiberglass tub or shower pan, excuse me, not a tub, but a shower pan. And, you know, again, that's what, that's what builders do. They're going to use a decent, okay product that probably isn't going to last forever, right? It's going to definitely have some issues. You're going to have possibly have some problems with the grout down the road. So going back. let's move over here. You got one sliding glass door. So we came in the, the front door, but then you have a sliding glass door to go out the side too, as well. There's no patio cover here. I would probably fix that some way, but coming in here, you got a very open floor plan. This is a two story home right here. I'm looking at about eight foot ceilings is what I'm seeing here and you have maybe maybe nine feet. What do you think, Brett? Eight. About eight, right? That's what I thought. And then so you over here, you have a LED fireplace. These can get pretty expensive. If you wanted to do an upgrade on these, these could be all the way up to five to $10,000, depending on the builder. Uh, but you can see a lot of echo, a lot of, uh, a lot of open baseboards, about three inches, maybe three and a half inches on the baseboards. So we're gonna go in, <clears throat> we're gonna take a look. This is the kitchen island, right? And so you got a quartz countertop here. You could probably sit about five people here. Now the cool thing is, is that you're not gonna have to worry about doing any upgrades. This house has already got upgrades, right? Somebody's bought this house, they never moved into the house and now they're ready to uh, put that, you know, have a new owner. They're wanting to put it back on the market. It's on the market now. This right here, I'm gonna say it's about a four by, I'm gonna say 10 on the kitchen island. It's a very big kitchen island. Uh, you got your deep undermounted sink. This is by Kohler. You got your gooseneck with the handle that comes off here. Really nice. And um, you know, again, a lot of, lot of space in this kitchen. I think that's a big seller for a lot of people. I like the color of the cabinets. I don't know if this is soft closed. I think it is soft closed, yep. So GE appliances, typically it comes with the builder. Um, so the builder put this in. Now the owner of the house has it, probably never been used. 
You got your cooktop, you got your micro top, or your, uh, your fan up here, but you got your cooktop five burner. These cabinets look like they're about 36 inch cabinets. And then you do have these handles. I'm not a big fan of the circle handles here. I would probably swap that out, but a lot of area of prep. There's no refrigerator in this house, but what people are doing right now, as you can see, they've, they've done the actual, they've taken all the uh, cabinetry all the way to the top, 18 inch at the top. You got your uh, crown at the top as well, where they've kind of sealed that off. That's an upgrade to a builder too. So this is a lot of upgrade in this house that you don't have to pay for because the, the owner or the previous owner already did, right? So they're motivated. I would say nine areas of prep. You have a lot of area here with the, with the room that you have in the kitchen. And um, you know, you have here combination that's built right in. You got your oven and your microwave. Again, cabinets all the way to the top. Let's head over here. I do like the pantry area. It's a pretty good sized pantry. You can store a lot of food here. They got some painting in here soon, but look at this. It's like, it's not a huge walk-in pantry, but you do have some area. You can put a lot of food here. Let's go out to the garage. Honeywell thermostat, smart thermostat. All right, so this is a Renai uh, tankless water heater. I have one in my house and also it's very expensive, but most of these new homes are gonna get that. We have a water softener setup here. Obviously there's no water softener machine here, but we have a setup. This is a three car tandem. And this over here, you can see that if it was me, I like how they've epoxied this ground. I would put some gym equipment, maybe put my, um, you know, dirt biking from, you know, stuff over here. Very nice area, a lot of space, right? You could see this is a very big three car tandem garage. You can easily fit three cars in here. I like the little additional window here. It brings in some sunlight and it's very modern looking with this epoxy that they did. You can see it's already protecting it because something was pulled in here and it's already dirty. So let's go back inside. Um, coming back in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to the backyard. Now this is the dining area. You know, that's the living room area. So you gotta have a nice vision of what you're trying to accomplish here. I can't get over how big and open the, the uh, kitchen is. So here's where you would have your dining area. They have dual stacking doors, right? So this is just a, a sliding glass door that opens up just one. Over here, this is a dual stacking and this is why it's important that I wanted to get out of here. So this comes all the way open. This is a big deal. Now, a lot of these contractors, and I mean real contractors, not ones that are handymen, they'll charge you five to $10,000 to get this permitted and to put it into your house. So having that is a very, it's a, it's a plus, it's a, it's a good bonus. Pretty good sized backyard. You got a nice patio cover here. You got your uh, LED lighting up here, your can lighting, you can see at the top. And it's already wired, it's pre-wired here for fan or whatever you want to put in. You want another light fixture or if you want to put a fan in there, which most people will probably put a fan. This is what you're going to get when you get a home like this, right? They're not going to landscape it. They're not going to put anything into it. So it's got a good size to the backyard, though, especially for Summerlin and being in Las Vegas. You have about six feet on the wall area all the way around and you can see how much building they're doing. I mean, these are all brand new homes. This home has never been lived in. So um, let's go on the other side here. I just want to see if they have a uh, AC unit. Okay, so they got dual AC units here, two of them. It looks like they're about 16 sear from my, my understanding. And they're Bryant. Now, well actually one's Bryant and one's a carrier. Two different models, looks like the same, the same size. This one may be a little bit bigger. Um, but with this backyard, you could really put a, anything you want back here. You can put nice landscaping or maybe a pool. Right? A lot of people want to put a pool and they just want to um, utilize a big backyard for what it's worth, right? So this is a good opportunity to do that. Let's go upstairs and we'll take a look around. Again, this is uh, in Summerlin. All right, so we're, we're inside the house and we got property taxes, 21, 26. I wanted to bring this up. Association fee is 106 a month, $55 master plan community fee. Again, this is Kings Canyon. Let's go upstairs. This is the floating stairs with the rails all the way to the top. You're looking at about 35,000, 30 to 35,000. So let's go ahead and move up here. This is a huge upgrade that's already in this house. 
And to get it for a million, I think it's a, based on what you would have to buy on this house before, it's a pretty good deal. And again, vinyl wood flooring throughout the whole house. If you have pets, very good home to have. If you have kids, don't have to worry about it, right? This is the loft area. Best I can say, we're still at that eight foot mark, um, 25 by 20, this area. And then you have a nice view of the mountains, as you can see. Red Rock is right behind that. I mean, that's where Red Rock Mountain is right there. So again, you can see we're right here in the heart of Summerlin where everybody wants to be, right? So going over here, since we're here, washer dryer setup, you have here 24 by 24 tile and a sink with cabinets also already put in, which is a plus. You got an undermounted sink here. So that's great. The attic, actually you can see it up there. Somebody has been up there, making sure everything's good. Um, Brett, did you go up there? All right, so let's go over here. <clears throat> we'll go over here to the left here. Um, here's your first uh, upstairs bathroom and you have dual sinks, chrome. This looks like standard chrome Delta faucet head. And then you got your soft clothes, shaker cabinets, Brooklyn style. This is a, this is fiberglass, which most builders do. They drop it in at stud. You got your Delta shower head here, and this is all one unit. Um, so it's pretty standard. Everything's pretty standard in here. Quartz countertop, nice white quartz countertop here. Going off to the right, here's our two bedrooms. Again, another, I would say uh, 12 by 12 standard closet. You got a two door standard closet. Whoa, I guess those sliders are uh, pretty good here. So we got 12 by 12, again, a lot of lighting. You have kids, you have somebody, it's a great house to, to have with a family based on what I see. And then coming over here, this one has the three door sliders. I love how they've done the, the, the wood flooring throughout. This is a huge upgrade and also those floating stairs. Um, big upgrade, right? And all of it is gonna be capped off. So if you wanna put a fan or put an additional light, you can do that. Again, this is another 12 by 12 room, it's almost the same size. And now we're gonna go into the primary bedroom here. We just visited the washer dryer area. And this here, this is the primary bedroom with a balcony. Probably 25 by 25 in here. It's probably maybe about that size. It's bigger than the loft. I would say the loft may be 15 by 20. So it's obviously bigger than the loft. Coming out here, nice balcony area. You would have a view of the strip, but you could see that these other houses, that right there looks like Aliante. Or no, that's not Aliante, that's Red Rock. Red Rock Casino is what that is. And then the strip is right behind these houses. So you really, you don't have a strip view unfortunately, but it's okay. People like balconies. You can say hi to your neighbor right there. That's always good, right? Okay, again, I wanna emphasize three and a half inch baseboards. Coming over here, we're gonna go into the primary bedroom, uh, bathroom, the area, and they have an ultra shower. Nice, huge upgrade, right? But they're gonna use tile. We know that tile is not long lasting, but they put a lot of tile in here. You can see dual shower head. You got dual faucet here with Delta. And here you can take this off and do what you want to do and shower with it. That's kind of cool. But it's all set up for you. You got a bench. I'll tell you what though, tile is very hard to keep clean. Very difficult, uh, especially with the grout and wet areas. Now in here they put a lot of upgrades to the uh, walk. The, the, this is the primary closet, right? And putting these shelves in could be anywhere from, I mean, people don't know how expensive they are. They could be 15 to $30,000, depending on what you put in. So this is not, this is not cheap. So what's cool is for the most part, if you already have this in place and you don't have to worry about doing all this and for a million, a little over a million dollars, million one, I know it sounds like it's not a lot of money, but it isn't compared to what, what we've seen in the last few years. You know, it's still, a million, million one is still a lot to a lot of people, but you know, everybody knows prices are coming down, but this has all the bells and whistles of this house. So if you guys have any questions on this house, if you guys want to use me as your realtor, you want me to take you off for tours, check out LV Crib Tours, Property Land, that's my channels. 
subscribe, like the channel, please. And I'll see you guys at the next one. I'm out of here.